Also, the Institute journey was an extremely emotional one. Uh, you know, it was driven from my passion of swimming. Um, all of the people I've talked to in the I've talked to through this journey, whether it's investors or partners, I've built a really strong relationship with, and a lot of that relationship is what drove the business forward. Uh, at every inflection point, yes, of course, we considered whether there was a market opportunity there, but a lot of the weight came down to, do I have the passion to persevere? Is this something we want to nurture and keep growing? You know, so I think, I, I think we gave a lot of weight to that in all of the decision making. Great. So now you have a product in the market and the company goes through yet another stage, which is you have a product, you've got to decide are you going to create more products, get into the market. You also have a competitor. Yeah. Um, so how, how do you look ahead and how do you keep yourself sort of driven for the next big thing? Well, that's a hard question. Mm -hmm. Given that the launch has been very difficult for, uh, you know, we've been the only swimming technology for a very long time. And the announcement of the competitor came the same week we launched and it hit us really hard because it was a good product that was built by a really good team of 40 people so it kind of felt like this was going to hit us really really hard um, the first work i had to do was to detach myself from the rush of the moment and the panic of the moment and try to look at this from a long-term perspective and reconnect myself with why did i believe that this product was a really good product and why did i take the design decisions that i did that differentiates us from the competitors um, and you know, build the long-term go-to-market plan based on these. Mm -hmm. um, now, in the next steps of the company, I'm trying to look at multiple factors. First of them being how the market responds to this product, mm -hmm. whether the unit economics makes sense, whether what it takes to actually sell new products, um, and then what is the possibility beyond this product? Or is it more, let's focus more on the swimming experience and building kind of an ecosystem around this hardware product or is it creating new hardware for this sport or multiple other sports or is it branching out in the swimming hardware and doing more products around swimming um, so you know I have a lot of ideas and dreams and these dreams kind of got dampened with manufacturing problems but now that the product is out there and I'm actually trying to listen really carefully to swimmers um, I'm hoping I will get to pick one of those dreams to push forward. Um, and, you know, even when the products launch, it's been, it's been so much work and it's been so hard fixing bugs, getting people, um, that I also forgot a little bit to celebrate the launch and enjoy it. Um, but I'm trying to find motivation in the feedback I'm getting because at the end of the day, the reward comes from building a product that swimmers enjoy.